Thank you so much for staying here with me, sweetie. Can I get you guys anything? Oh, um, no, I'm fine, thanks. It's, uh, it's a pizza joint around the corner. If you want to grab a slice, I'll stay here with your mom. No, I don't want anything to eat. Oh, uh, sweetie, this is, um, Antonio Vega, a good friend of mine. This is my son, Cole. You're a cop, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but tonight I'm your mom's friend. Taking good care of her. Yeah, well, she's all I've got. You know, I lost my father at your age. I know your mom means everything to you. Sweetie, I know um, you're probably worried about Star, so why don't you go on up to the ICU and check on her and, you know, see how Blair's doing. I'm, um... I'm in good hands here. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, I'll be right back. Todd. Honey, I know it's difficult to think about, but maybe Clint and I should go and get Jack so that he can, uh, you know, see his mom. You mean to say goodbye? No. No, just in case. She's not going to die then it will be very good for her to hear his voice, okay? We'll explain things to him so he won't be scared, but, uh... I mean, is that all right with you? Yeah, that's fine. That's probably a good idea. Okay, we'll be right back. Hi, Cole. What are you doing here? I came to find out how Star is. Make it quick. So, how is she? I thought that she was getting better, but... I think... I think she's going to die. What? Are you sure? I mean... I'm really sorry. Um, how's your mom? She's okay. She said your dad saved her life. Really? Well, I'm glad that you told me. I'm sorry, I should really go back in and see my mom. Yeah, sure. She's the same. We left because the doctor went back in there. She's gonna be fine, Star, all right? So as you said, this Dr. Cushion's a genius, so... So you Kramer women, they don't give up without a fight, right? <laughs> I am. Uh... Hey. Hey, how's Blair? The same, not good. Yeah, I brought you some tea. Careful, oh. it's hot. Thanks, sweetie. Antonio, any word on Truman? No, no, not yet. Bo. He survived the surgery. He's in recovery. And you haven't heard half of it. What is it? What's happened? The bullet went clean through him. Get out of here. Yep, missed his heart, missed his aorta. I mean, he lost a piece of one lung, but considering the injury, that's nothing. After we stopped the bleeding, he was home free. He knew what he was doing. I don't get it. I mean, why take the chance? Why not just turn himself in? Because he doesn't want to go to Wigdale. Because he doesn't want to be sedated and, and have treatments. He thinks he's fit to stand trial. He thinks he's innocent. Well, he bought himself some time. He shot himself point blank because he believed he could survive it. <laughs> what else is he capable of? There's been no change. I'm sorry. All right, I want to go back in there to see Mom. Sure, go ahead. Okay. I'll be right in. So what do we do next? We wait. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> Look, you're free to bring in another opinion, but I wouldn't waste my time. What does that mean? It means you need to start preparing for the worst. <laughs> 